I'm loving it. Yes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making us a shag jacket. I will be making it out of this. Um, I'm not sure what to call it. I can't think of the name right now. But um, I'm going to be making it out of this and some yarn. So I'm going to be crocheting the yarn into this i'm seeing how i do this please stay tuned to watch all right y'all so this is how it looks it is a small i'm pretty sure it came from walmart because it's faded glory so it's probably old but it's a lady size small four six so this should fit perfect for me um we're gonna start from the front and then work our way towards the back and then work on the sleeves which are like three quarter lengths and I'm going to have some of the yarn hanging down which may make it even longer we'll see how that goes as we get to our sleeves the holes they are big enough for me to just slide the yarn through and then some of them I will have to use a crochet needle a needle so really all you would need is like a crochet needle you may not even need this it depends on how big your holes are and then you will need some yarn of course so I'm gonna be doing like white and then an off white so that's the look I'm going for so I'm gonna start on this side I will show y'all how I do it at the beginning and then I'm gonna speed it up so let's get this started now, I already had some yarn pre-cut. I'm going to have to go back and um, cut some more yarn because I know it's going to take more than this. But that's the first thing you want to do. You want to go ahead and pre-cut your yarn. That way it'll cut down on some of the time. So you'll take your yarn like this. Um, we're going to start at the bottom. I think that's the easiest way so you won't have to be throwing the yarn back as you go down so it's best to start at the bottom okay we'll just take this hole right here pull it through you're gonna half up your yarn so that it will be the same length go ahead and do that i thought i had it i'm gonna do it that like that so it'll be the same length You'll pull your crochet through the hole, put your crochet on the hook, pull back the latch, and then you can grab it like that, and then just pull it through. And it's automatically on, so we're going to keep doing that. Um, I think I'm going to do like every other one because I don't want it super thick and heavy. Although, you can do that and make it that way. You can start off by going every other if you think you want to go back in and fill in in between. Just go with however you feel. And once you get a group going, then you'll just go, go along with that. Just go however you feel. So so far we got these two like this. Put this back so I can show you guys, and then I'm gonna do another one, and then we are going to speed it up. So right now I am just doing every other one. Once you get the hang of it, it just start going very, very fast. So those are my three ones for right now. And I'm going to speed this up.
all right y'all so this is how it's looking so far i almost got the front completed this is how it is looking i'm really liking it so far thinking about adding some color i don't know yet we will see but yeah i gotta finish this this a little bit more to go but we're almost there but I will be right back with you guys as soon as I have the front completed and then after that it will be the back and then we'll be good to go All right, y'all, so this is the finished look on my jacket. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoy making myself this shag jacket. I saw it, um, I believe, sometime last year, and I said I was going to go ahead and make me one. So finally, I went ahead and made me one. Um, you could get it done within a day. But you have to use like the majority of your day, a full day. So it took me maybe like two to three days because I took some time off. I didn't want to waste the whole day with doing it, although I could have. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very, very easy to make. You guys can make one too. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.